All right, hello guys, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Henry, and I welcome you into this wonderful, divine, sacred space. So, as you can see, things have changed. I'm using a microphone now, so it's gonna be more of an ASMR slash cozy slash very calm week ahead reading today. I hope you're all doing very well and enjoying your holidays if you celebrate Christmas or, you know, if you celebrate at all, I don't know, but I hope you're having a good ass time, okay? <laughs> so, so today we will be taking a look into the week ahead, into the next seven days of our lives. This is for the collective, okay? So if you stumble upon this reading, just know that this is for you and also it's timeless. So whenever you see this, there's a message in it for you because I believe time is an illusion anyway, right? So that's on that. And yeah, I also want to let you guys know that I do have a podcast now. I will link it in the in the description box. Hello. <laughs> I will link it down below in the description box. Feel free to check that out. I uploaded the first episode. It's beautiful. It's fun. It's lit. So feel free to tune in. I love to have you. And yeah, without any further ado, let's jump right into the reading and see what the fuck we need to hear, okay? What the oval energies are, what needs to come through for the collective spirit. Let's find out what needs to be heard. Okay, what needs to be heard for the people who will be watching this reading. So we're starting off this reading with the King of Pentacles. Okay, ooh, look at the shimmering. Oh, I love it. Okay, so you guys, what I'm getting from this, with this King of Pentacles starting off our reading, you are being called to manage your finances. Like there's something with your finances, with your wealth, with your money, with your material shit. There is a blessing coming in on that during the week ahead, okay? Now, for some of you guys, you might receive some money for Christmas or like there's some abundance coming away during the next seven days, okay? It's like if you have been, you know, struggling with money issues for, you know, the past few weeks or something like that, there's balance entering your money department of your life again, okay? There is stability coming your way. I also want you guys to do something that is very fucking delusional, okay? So if you're realistic and you're not into woo-woo stuff, just stick with me for a minute because this actually helps, okay? I truly believe, and it's kind of proven, right? Um, but if you don't believe in it, it, it's totally okay, you know, like it took me a hot fucking minute to start believing in this as well, but you create your reality, you know, the way you speak with yourself, the way you, you know, view things, the way you, you think, you're actively creating your reality. So if you constantly say to yourself that you don't have money, you're broke, you will probably stay like this forever, you will stay like this forever, right? Like, if you don't allow the universe to give you a chance to bless you financially or with whatever it is, right? Then it won't happen, you know? Like, it's just the way it is. If you're not open for something, you know, like, you can be the most beautiful inside out person ever. But if you're not ready and open for genuine love, you will never get it, you know? And if you get it, you may even run away because you don't believe that you are worthy of it, right? It's the same with money. It's like, you know, if you continuously tell yourself that you are meant to basically, you know, not be rich and that you aren't worthy of wealth, you know, and this could be a subconscious belief as well. If you constantly tell yourself that, there's no space for money to enter your life. So I really want you to be more conscious about the stories you're telling yourself, you know? Instead of saying, I don't have money, you know, especially if you're struggling with this, and I'm not delusional, okay? I mean, to some extent, yes, I am, obviously, but I know that so many people out there having money problems and issues, you know? Like, I know, this is reality. But 
we can actively decide to be delusional to some extent and say like oh my gosh like i'm the wealthiest bitch alive like i have so much money um you know when money flows to me easily and effortlessly um in the highest way possible at all times shit like that it costs nothing to start telling yourself that okay so you better start telling yourself shit like that even if it's not true even if you're broke as shit you need to start telling yourself money flows into my life so then the universe can see oh my gosh this bitch is worthy you know of receiving money and trust me the universe will always find a way to bless you if you're open but start being delusional <laughs> okay just start being fucking delusional okay so let's dive deeper and see what else needs to come through spirit what needs to be heard we have the eight of wands you guys i'm telling you fast money like there's something about your finances during the week ahead that it's just really gonna blossom but i want you guys to prepare for this i want you guys to be open for it okay so really ask yourself am i genuinely open for money you know and there's just a lot of subconscious beliefs that you need to work through and the number one uh, one way you can really do that is by using affirmations okay and i know this is really woo woo for some people out there you know like if you're more of a realistic and logical person i get it you know um but this is what helped me you know i'm a capricorn rising like i'm realistic as fuck you know i don't believe in everything that the spiritual community follows i have my own views i have my own belief system but what truly fucking helped me is affirmations you better start using them when you look in the mirror you better talk greatly about yourself like you're the most beautiful human alive okay it's time to shift your mindset honey okay during the week ahead but i feel like with this eight of wands here there could also be someone reaching out to you um unexpectedly like there's some kind of unexpected offer you know and this could be very very spicy as well you know maybe you guys will go on a random date or something like that somebody is really out there who's about to light a fire within you during the week ahead okay and this is just for some of you if you're already in a relationship this could be a friend as well like this could be anybody but i feel like for some of you it's really gonna be romantic like somebody's asking you out on a date like on a whim really spontaneously or somebody's just coming through here just wanting to offer you something that's like very spontaneous adventurous you know it's giving sagittarius energy okay it's giving sagittarius energy let's see what else we have oh, bitch oh my gosh we have the king of swords so there is definitely someone reaching out to you okay i cannot make this up this is definitely about a text message or like a phone call whatever okay and then we also have the hierophant i swear to god this person who's going to be reaching out to you and as i said this could be a friend as well it doesn't always have to be platonic but if you're single if you are single it's going to be spicy it's going to be spicy but i feel like this person is really such a leader type of person you know they got their shit together they're very stable financially mentally physically all of it like they're the whole package okay so somebody will reach out to you who's very much in control of their life you know they have their shit together and this is beautiful and they will want to do something adventurous with you okay but this is all i'm gonna say to that because you know i don't want to focus on just love because it's boring right so let's dive deeper and see what else you guys can expect during the next seven days whenever you're watching this we have the oh my gosh listen you guys i actually i was lurking at this card page of wands i just earlier saw, like you know i was looking into the deck and i saw it and i was like damn and now it flew out like are you kidding me this is fucking beautiful i really really feel like you know the universe doesn't want me to stop talking about this person so i'm not gonna stop okay so there is somebody who's really gonna make your inner child feel very satisfied if you guys have been going through some dark times you know mentally and like you feel as if nothing is really happening that is lighting this inner spark within you you know that gets you excited that gets you feeling adventurous that gets you feeling 
you know, just happy and excited about life. You know, if you have been lacking that, somebody's going to come into your life who will give you that spark again. But the biggest but you've ever seen, okay? B-U-T. You need to know that you have the power to give yourself that spark as well, okay? You need to know that if things have been just so fucking boring, uh, boring, what the fuck, boring and um, like mundane and just overall not really, um, you know, passionate and adventurous in your life, you have all the power you need to give your back to give yourself back that excitement, you know, whether it's going on a solo date, whether it's like visiting a muse museum, connecting with your creative side, you have all the power you need to do that, okay? So I don't want you guys to wait for somebody to do that for you, because at the end of the day, we can never wait for anyone, because all the power we need is within ourselves, and I know that sounds so cheesy, but it's true. It is true. Okay, so I want you guys to go out there next week or whenever you see this, you know, you can just start doing it already. Start doing something creative that is really going to light this inner fire within your soul. I want you guys to start doing that because it has been lacking in your life. Now I'm going to pull you some more cards. I'm going to choose a new oracle deck right away. One second. So I really, really want you guys to do something adventurous slash creative slash whatever. Start painting something, start writing something, start like making something with clay, some shit like that. You need to do something that makes you feel excited about life again, okay? And this could also be like signing up for a dating app, or like meeting new people, going on some fun dates, whatever, you know, whatever it is. You need to start doing it, okay? Now, I don't know why the fuck I'm so orange all of a sudden, but I refuse to use right lighting for my videos because it really, really drains me. Okay, you know what? Let's just accept the fact that I'm fucking orange. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see. What else needs to be heard for you guys, okay? What needs to come through? We have the card. Fogged in. Go slow. Take time. Okay? So this ties in beautifully with this message I just told you, you know? Take your time for yourself to create something that will make you feel excited about life again. Okay? And I also want you guys to know that especially with the holidays, the upcoming new year, you know, um, and Mercury retrograde, like things are going at such a fast pace. I want you guys to slow down more. I want you guys to drink less caffeine, which I'm not really a good example of that. <laughs> I'm just, you know, looking at my matcha cup right here. Um, you know, I want you guys to just really slow down. You don't need to get everything done just in time for the new year because there's a whole fucking new year waiting for you where you will be able to finish everything, you know, where you will be able to, to work through everything you may currently be working through. So don't put pressure on yourself, okay? This doesn't mean that I'm telling you guys to be completely passive and do nothing. If that's your thing, you do you, babe, okay? We literally are at the very end of 2022. You can allow yourself to rest, right? But you, you just, you, you gotta be, you, t you need to take more time, bitch, okay? You need to take more time for yourself, okay? Okay. If I, s like, listen, if you want to go boss, like, all the way to New Year's, that's fine. You do you. I'm gonna do the same, you know, because I love, I love what I'm doing. But we need to take care of ourselves, you know? We need to take breaks in between the girl bossing, okay? Okay. So... Let's see what else needs to come through. Final messages for you. What needs to be heard? What needs to come through? We have the card. Okay, so two cards wanted to come out. We have the card Discovering Truth, okay? You stand in the light of truth. All right, so some of you guys might be discovering some, you know, truth, some mysteries being revealed during the next few days. Um, just, I also feel like you guys will start seeing your life with more clarity, you know, more clarity is coming in, you will be able to see things as they are, and not as your fear makes them out to be, okay? And then lastly, we have the Valiant, Valiant, oh, I'm not sure how to say it, Courage, okay? 
take action with passion. So as I said, you guys need to start doing something that will re-give you this passion and inner fire. It's so important for you. Okay, you don't want to start the new year um, feeling like just uninspired. You can inspire the living shit out of yourself during the next few days, okay? It's all within you. Now, I do feel called to pull one more card. So let's see which deck we're going to be using. Okay, final card for you guys. Let's see. Final card for this reading. Spirit, what needs to come through? We have the card Empowerment, okay? And it says, when you ask the divine to take over, you get pulled into your own authentic power. It's a force of inner love that wants your wholeness and magnificence. Unfold my true and radiant self, dear divine. Okay? Beautiful. So, you guys, that was Eureka Head reading. Thank you so much for spending time with me here today, for sharing the space with me. Like always, you're highly appreciated. I'm so, so fucking grateful for each and every one of you, you know. Let me know if this resonates. I'd love to know how this made you feel, what you're currently experiencing, you know, what the plans are for you during the next few days, the last few days of 2022, if you're watching this um, during the time frame. I'm uploading this, you know, but yeah, I love you so much, and I hope you have a beautiful next few days ahead, and I'm sending so much healing energy away, okay?